Hello, grade 9 students. Uh, let us discuss our lesson on angles of elevation and angles of depression. So, this is what we call the application of right triangles. And then we, are, we will apply our knowledge uh, on the six trigonometric ratios. So, the MELP illustrates angle of elevation and angles of depression. Uses trigonometric ratios to solve real life problems involving right triangles. And for the learning objectives, define angle of elevation and angle of depression. Identify angle of elevation, angle of depression, and line of sight. Apply the trigonometric ratios in solving problems involving right triangles. Let us first have a recall. So, we all know that there are six trigonometric ratios in the right triangle. These are the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So if we have here a right triangle, and our reference angle is theta here, angle A. Therefore, side A is the opposite side, side B is the adjacent side, should be adjacent. And side C is the hypotenuse. And of course, uh, so and always a mnemonic use for remembering the formula. So for sine, for sine theta, opposite over hypotenuse, SOH. For cosine theta, ka, CAH. Adjacent over hypotenuse, and of course, cosecant is the inverse of sine theta, so hypotenuse over opposite, or one over sine theta. Second is the inverse of cosine theta or the reciprocal, so hypotenuse over adjacent or one over cosine theta. And tangent theta is toa, so opposite over adjacent side, and its reciprocal is cotangent, adjacent over opposite side or one over tangent theta. Okay, let us recall here. How to find the value of the following in three decimal places. Ensure your calculator is operating in degrees. So, what is the value of sine 48 degrees? So, using your scientific calculator, you just press sine or sin, then 48, then press equal sign. And then you will come up 0 0.743. Okay, did you get the same answer? Cosine 60 degrees, you just press cos 46 equals, so the answer is 1 half or 0 0.5. Tangent 90 degrees, you just press tan 90 equals 0 0.743. How about number 4, cosecant 30, degree, 30 degrees? Okay, there is no cosecant in your scientific calculator. But we all know that cosecant is the inverse of sine. So all you have to do is divide 1 by sine 30. 1 divided by sine 30 is equal to 2. Right? Now there is second, 75 degrees. Second, there's no second in the, your scientific calculator. So, but second is the reciprocal of cosine. So, all you have to do is divide 1 by cosine 75 degrees. Which we, uh, equals 3.863. about cotangent 40 degrees? There's no cot cotangent in your scientific calculator. So, you press, we will know that. The reciprocal of cotangent is tangent, so we just press 1 divided by tangent 40 is equal to 1.1917. Okay, finding the angle uh, given the ratio. Convert the following degrees, minutes, and seconds smooth. Okay, example, sine theta is equal to 0.8. So what we're trying to find here is the measure of the angle theta. So to find the measure of angle theta, all you have to do is press in your scientific calculator ship sign ship sign 0.8 equals 53.1301 degrees so that will be the measure of the angle if you want to know it's equivalent in degrees minutes seconds smooth you just uh, press ship dms okay yung uh, okay it's in your calculator in dms 53 degrees 9 minutes and 48.37 seconds let us also have a recall on the trigonometric ratios of special angles. The special angles are the 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So, okay, this is the table that you can uh, easily memorize. But if you cannot memorize, at least memorize the, uh, the right triangles, whose angles are 30, 60, and 45, 45, 90 degrees. Triangle. Alright, diba? So, sine 30 degrees, one up. 
also in 30 degrees square root of 3 over 2 tangent 30 degrees square root of 3 over 3 and so on and so forth well, this is sine 45 degrees square root of 2 over 2 tangent 45 1 cos uh, sine 60 degrees square root of 3 over 2 okay if you cannot memorize this part that at this table if you uh, at least memorize the sides of the 45 45 90 degree triangle which which uh, have the sides 1 1 square root of 2 then you apply so katawa ganun din sa 30 60 90 triangle the opposite uh, this the shorter leg which is the opposite of 30 degree angle is one half the hypotenuse so if the hypotenuse is 2 the shorter leg is 1 and the longer leg is uh, the shorter leg times square root of 3 all right okay find the missing parts of a right triangle using trigonometric ratio okay so our the given angle here is 30 degrees that means 7 is the opposite side find side a sine c so solve for value of a we're going to use tangent why because 7 and a are both opposite and adjacent side so tangent 30 degrees is called opposite over adjacent but tangent 30 is 0 0.58 called 7 over a then press multiply divide both sides by 0 0.58 then therefore a is approximately 12 okay 12 approximately 12 and for side c for side c we're going to use cosine Kasi meron na tayong value ng A. Pwede ring sine. Sine 30 is equal to 7 over C. Pwede ring sine 30. But yes, pwede ring that. Pwede ring yung cosine 30 degrees. Kasi cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. To so, solve for the hypotenuse, we have cosine 30.87 equals 12 over C. That is the adjacent side which have, we have solved a while back. Divide both sides by 0.87, so the answer is 14. Approximately 14 units. Sample 2. A building is 10.5 meters high. At a certain distance away from the building, an observer determines that the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. How far is the observer from the base of the building? Okay, we have here a building has a height of 10.5 meters. Uh, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. How far is the observer from the base of the building? So we're, we're trying to solve for x here. So what are the sides involved? Opposite side and adjacent side. So we're going to use the tangent function. Tangent 30 is equal to 10.5 over x. Opposite over adjacent. Toa, right? So katawa. Then to solve for x, divide 10.5 by 0. 10.5 divided by tangent 30, uh, which will, will come up with the final answer, 18.2 meters. That is how far the observer is from the base of the building. So, but, uh, okay, we have here now the definition of angle of elevation and angle of depression. Line of sight is an imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer the, to the object being observed. So, if the if you're trying to look at an object um, above the horizontal line. So, uh, then we are talking about angle of elevation. So, angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. So, pag above, angle of elevation. And then, if you are trying to look of an object below, then it's called the angle of depression. It's the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below. Excuse me. So, if this is your eye, then if you are trying to look straight it's called the horizontal line of sight and if you're trying to look at an object above then it's what we call the line of sight above observers and the uh, angle between the horizontal and the line of sight is what we call the angle of elevation but if you're trying to look at an object below then the angle formed between the horizontal line of sight and the line of sight below observer it's called the angle of depression yeah, the stations of angle of elevation and the depression. Okay, this is the person looking at an airplane. Then, it's what we call the angle form between horizontal and the line of sight is angle of elevation. But if the man is looking at the dog below, then the angle form between horizontal line and the line of sight of the man is what we call the angle of depression. 
Okay, let's have here. Identify the segment that represents the line of sight and the angle that represents the angle of elevation. So, so what is the line of sight here in this picture? The man is on top of the building and looking at a certain object below. Line of sight is AB. And the angle of depression is angle BAC. Okay. How about the line of sight here? Uh, and this picture is looking at the sun. Line of sight is like LN. Angle of elevation is MLN. Angle MLN or NLM. Okay, examples of situations that illustrate an angle of elevation. An airplane leaving an airport. A man observing a total eclipse. A ladder packed against a wall. A string of kite and inclination with the ground. Okay, which are all above. Objects are above. Okay, illustration of angle of depression. Looking up a boat, looking at a boat on the ocean, in the ocean from the top of the mountain, aiming an arrow to the ground from the top of the building. A man on the tower observing the base of a tree. Now, using trigonometric ratios and problem solving involving right triangles. So, these are the steps. Identify what is given. Draw the illustration if not shown. Determine the formula to be used. Show the solution. Indicate the final answer. Final answer must contain the unit of measurement used, uh, whether it be meters, feet, inches, meters, kilometer. Okay, so given, then draw the illustration, determine the formula to be used, show the solution, indicate final answer. Okay, so let us have here now some examples. A ladder 8 meters long leans against the wall of a building. If the foot of the ladder Makes an angle of 68 degrees with the ground. How far is the base of the ladder from the wall? So first, identify what is given. So let L be equal to 8 meters, which is the length of the ladder. Theta is the 68 degrees angle of elevation of the foot of the ladder with the ground. D is the distance from the wall to the base of the ladder. So I'll illustrate, draw the illustration. So we have here a wall of the building. This is the ladder whose length is 8 meters and then the angle of elevation formed between the ladder and the, and the ground is 68 degrees so find the distance between the foot of the ladder to the base of the building so this is the, what we're trying to find D okay so what are the sides involved so what are the sides involved Hypo, uh, if it's a right triangle hypotenuse and adjacent side and if adjacent side and hypotenuse are involved then what are we going to use? Uh, the trigonometric function. Of course, we're going to use what? Cosine. Cosine because cosine theta ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine theta is equal to d over l. Or simply cosine 68 degrees is equal to d over 8. Then cross multiply. d times 1 is d. Cosine 68 times 8. Then, alright, so, so for D, multiply 8 by cosine 68. The answer is 2.9968, round off to the nearest 100. So, approximately, the distance between the foot of the ladder to the base of the building is 3. 3 meters. Yes. So, 3 meters, the distance from the wall to the base of the ladder. Okay. Number two, a guy wire runs from the ground to a cell tower. The wire is attached to the cell tower 170 feet above the ground. The angle formed between the wire and the ground is 43 degrees. How long is the wire? Okay, first given H, let H 170 feet, 170 feet, the height of the tower from the ground to the wire. Theta 43 degrees, angle formed between the wire and the ground. And L, length of the wire. And the tower, whose height is 170 feet. And the angle, uh, the angle form is 40 degrees the theta. Now let's try to find the length of the wire. This is the wire. So as you can see, what are the sides in bold? Opposite side and hypotenuse. So what what trigonometric functions are we going to use? We're going to use sine function because sine function. Is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal to h over l. Or sine 43 degrees is equal to 170 over l. 
cross multiply 170 times 1 is 170 L times sine 43 degrees divide both sides by sine 43 and cell so L is equal to 170 divided by sine 43 degrees uh, the answer is 249.2669 did you get the same answer using your calculator so uh, final answer 249.27 Okay, indicate the final answer. 249.27 feet is the length of the wire. Another. A tree that is 20 feet tall casts a shadow 10 feet long. At what angle are the sun's rays hitting the ground? Okay, the, given H, 20 feet, the height of the tree. L, 10 feet, the length of the shadow. The angle of the sun's rays hitting the ground. So we have here the sun. This is the tree. It casts a shadow of 10 feet. The height of the tree is 20 feet. Now what we're trying to find here is the angle of elevation of the sun. Yes. Theta. We're trying to find here the measure of the angle here. So what are the sides in both? Opposite side and adjacent side. So we're going to use the tangent function. TOA. Yes. So tangent theta is equal to h over l. Or tangent theta is equal to 20 over 10. But 20 over 10 is 2. So tangent theta is equal to 2. So from here, we can be able to solve the measure of the angle. Okay, in your calculator. Okay, just theta is equal to shift uh, tangent to equals. So the answer is 63.43 degrees. That is the angle of, of elevation of the sun at that, at, the, at that particular time. 63.43 degrees. Okay, shift tangent to equals. So, 63.43 degrees is the angle of the sun's rays are, are hitting the ground. 63.43 degrees. Another tower is 21 meters high. At certain distance away from the tower, an observer determines the angle of elevation to the top is 60 degrees. How far is the observer from the base of the tower? Given at h 21 meters, height of the tower, theta 60 degrees, angle of elevation. Okay, unknown d is the distance from the base of the tower to the observer. So we have here a tower whose height is 21 meters. Angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Find the distance from the, uh, between the observer and to the base of the tower. So uh, what are we going to use here? The sides and bulb are opposite side and adjacent side. So we're going to use the tangent function. TOA. Opposite over adjacent. So tangent theta is equal to h over d or tangent 60 is equal to 21 over d here then multiply across multiplication d times tangent 6 equals 21 times 1 so 21 divide both sides by tangent 60 cancel using your calculator 21 divided by tangent 60 is 12.12 .12. so the final answer is 12.12 .12 meters the distance from the base of the tower to the observer is 12.12 .12 meters Another, from the top of a barn 8 meters high, you see a cut on the ground. Look, the angle of the pressure of the cut is 40 degrees. How many meters must the cut walk to reach the barn? Given H, 8 meters, height of the barn, theta, 40, de 40 degrees, D, unknown, the distance that the cut must walk to reach the barn. Angle of the pressure is 90 minus theta, 90 minus 40 degrees is equal to 50 degrees. And... So we have here angle of depression is involved because we are trying to look at an object below. So the angle of depression is 40 degrees. So since this is uh, this forms 90 degrees, so 90 minus 40, so this is 50 degrees. So therefore our reference angle is 50 degrees instead of instead of what instead of 40 degrees, 50 degrees tayo. Or, pwede rin natin gamitin dito. It's still 40 degrees because, okay, alternate interior angles are equal. So, again, the sides and bulb are opposite side and adjacent side. So, we're going to use the tangent function. Tangent 50 is equal to D over H. Okay? 50 degrees ang ginamit natin and the opposite side is D. Adjacent side is H. So, tangent 50 degrees is equal to D over H. Yan. Tangent 50 is equal to t over 8 cross multiply. 8 times tangent 50 is 9.53. That is the distance uh, 
uh, from the base of the barn to the cut. 9.53 degrees. Tama? Okay. You get it? I hope so. Let us now proceed to our exercises. Identify whether the following phrases or situations represent an angle of elevation or angle of depression. Number one, a boy flying a kite. Okay, angle of elevation. Because uh, the kite is above. Number two, a coin spotted at the bottom of the pool. Angle of depression. Number three, observing a bird flying in the sky. Angle of elevation. Number four, looking at your campsite at the base of the cliff. Angle of depression. Number five, an airplane approaching the airport. Angle of depression. Next, from the illustration below, identify the ratios of the following. Okay, we have here a coconut tree. Coconut's height is R. Then we have S, the hypotenuse is T. So, sine 40 degrees, identify the ratio. Sine 40 degrees is, yes, Sokatoa. Remember your Sokatoa? So, S over R. And the S over T should say, opposite over hypotenuse. Number 2, cosine 40 degrees. Adjust inside over hypotenuse, so R over T. Number 3, tangent 40 degrees. Opposite over adjacent, so S over R. Number 4, co cosecant 40 degrees. Cosecant means hypotenuse over uh, hypotenuse over uh, opposite side. T over S. Yon. Number 5, second 40 degrees. Uh, uh, hypotenuse over adjacent side. T over R. Number 6, cotangent 40 degrees is R over S. Number 7, sine 50 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse, R over T. Number 8, cosine 50 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, S over T. Number 9, tangent 50 degrees, opposite over adjacent side, R over S. Number 10, cosecant 50 degrees, uh, hypotenuse over opposite side, T over R. Number 11, second 50 degrees, hypotenuse over just inside T over S. And last, cotangent 50 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse, S over R. Now, given the following illustration, solve for the value of X by determining the, determining the formula to be used, showing your solution and indicating your final answer. Number one, we have here the Eiffel Tower. We have here the hypotenuse, 400 meters. The angle of elevation is 50 degrees. From the top of the tower is 50 degrees. Find the distance between this particular point to the base of the Eiffel Tower, so X. So what are the sides involved? Adjust inside and hypotenuse. So we're going to use the cosine function. Yun. Cosine theta is equal to X over Y. So substitute cosine 50 is equal to X over 400. Multiply both sides by 400. So 400 times cosine 50 is 257.12 meters. About this, okay? Angle of depression is 46 degrees. Find the value of X. So again, the sides in bulb are uh, opposites, the adjacent side and uh, hypotenuse. So we're going to use cosine 46 equals 10. 10 over X. Divide 10 by cosine 46, 14.39 kilometers is the value of x. Okay, follow the steps in solving word problems to find the unknown on the following problems. A tree that is 16 feet tall has a shadow of 8 feet long. At what angle are the sun's rays hitting the ground? A. Identify what is given. So, yun, H. 16 feet, height of the tree. L. 8 feet, height of the shadow. Theta angle of the sun's rays hitting the ground. So what are the sides involved? Opposite and adjacent sides. So we're going to use the tangent function. Tangent theta or tangent, yes, tangent theta is equal to 16 over 8. But 16 over 8 is 2. So in your calculator, press tangent or shift tan 2 equals. So the answer is 63.43 degrees. And for number 2, we have here eight, uh, a building, tall building, 15 meters high. How far is the base of the building to the observer's eye here, forming a 41 degree angle? So the sides in both are opposite and adjacent sides, so we're going to use tangent function. Tangent 41 is equal to 15 over D. Then cross multiplication, divide both sides by tangent 41. So we have 15 divided by tangent 41 is 17.26 meters. 
thank you very much for listening and uh, I'll see you next time I will I will uh, show more examples on angle of depression and angle of elevation problems.